This is your beginner upper body and abs workout. This workout today is going to target all of the major muscle groups in your upper body as well as your abs and obliques. And the only thing you need for this workout will be your dumbbells. If you do not have dumbbells, you can use anything from a from cans to books, get creative with it. Or if you have your resistance bands, I am also gonna offer modifications to use this. Now I have the closed loop band, but if you have the open band with the handles, that's gonna work amazing as well. So we are gonna get right into our warm up. It's always important to start with a warm up to really maximize our workout ahead. And as we begin that warm up, I'm gonna explain how this workout will go. And we will also talk about the amazing benefits to strength training and why it is so awesome to include in your fitness regimen. So let's get right into our warm up. First off, we're just gonna start with wrist circles. We wanna get the joints warm, we wanna get the muscle warm. The heart rate is gonna come up a little bit, but really we're working on getting those muscles and joints ready to go. So breathing, we've switched directions, just circling here. Good, and we're gonna bend the wrists. And breathing. Now taking one arm, we're gonna circle back. For this workout today, we have three total rounds. Two rounds are gonna focus on our upper body, so our arms, our chest, and our back. We're gonna hit the biceps and triceps in the arms. And then that last round is gonna be all focused on the abs. We're gonna take it forward now. Breathing here, we're gonna work for 30 seconds in each exercise, and then we're gonna get 30 seconds to recover. And in between rounds, we're gonna get one minute to rest. We're gonna do three more big circles here, and then we're gonna take this arm across. Good, now we're gonna take it across, so just reaching across, getting a little twist here, warming up the abs and the core as well. Breathing. I am so excited that you are here. If, if this is one of your first strength training workouts, maybe you've done a few, maybe you're getting back into it. I am telling you what, strength training has seriously transformed my life and I know it can for you too. I mean, not only is it amazing if you are looking to lose fat, burn fat, but I'm telling you what, it will make everyday life easier as well. From here, we're gonna take, reach overhead, reach. Your everyday tasks will become easier and I'm telling you, it is an awesome, stress reliever as well. Breathe, three, two, and one. Other side now, we're gonna take, and we're gonna do those arm circles back. So big circles back, breathing. Really getting these shoulder joints warm. So for this exercise, we are gonna do each exercise two times through. But we're gonna work each muscle group and then for that second round, we're gonna go through it and repeat that round for the upper body. But the abs, we get one shot for each exercise. Two more, and we're gonna roll forward. Good, now take it forward, big circles. Then we're gonna come across the body, breathing. Good. Now I am a form freak, okay, I have I have, uh, I have uh, named myself that. So I am really gonna remind you today about form because I find it so important to really maximize your workout. If your form is off, if you are not getting that full range of motion, let's take it across here, you're only gonna be getting 70, 80% out of your workout. Whereas if you are focused on form, if you are focused on making that mind-muscle connection, we're gonna maximize it and get 100% out of this workout. That is how important your time is. So we're gonna make the most of it. Breathing, good. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take it across and over. We're almost through this warm up, and we're gonna get ready to go into our shoulder press first. That is our first exercise. Now with the weight you choose, I'm gonna challenge you to go heavy enough, but if you are beginning and you're really not even sure where to begin, start a little bit lighter, and then as you go through the exercises, you will be able to determine if you want to go up or down. We're gonna do two and one, awesome. So shake it out. Now in between that rest section, I'm gonna show you what the next exercise is that's coming up. Don't forget, there's gonna be modifications if you're using your band. And then also during the workout, I'm gonna offer modifications as well to help you lower the intensity if you find you need to do that. So we're gonna get right into this. That first exercise is shoulder press. So grab weight that will challenge you again. Something, if you were just beginning, a little bit lighter and then you can always increase 
from there. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. All right, getting into position, bringing those weights up, slight bend in your knee, core is engaged. Here we go. Pressing up and lowering down, controlling the weight up and down. When I say keep your core engaged, you're thinking about squeezing your belly button to spine. Don't hold your breath though. You're gonna use your breath as power through this. So as you press up, you're gonna exhale. Good. And focus on those shoulder muscles. That's what we're working. Well over halfway, we've got a few reps left. Now by the last two, three, four reps, if it is really challenging, last one, you know you've picked the right weight. That's, how it's, that's the way that's gonna guide us is by those last few reps, you were really feeling it and those are very tough. That's how you know you're going heavy enough. Now this ex next exercise is a bicep curl. So it's gonna look just like this. Arms all the way down, we're getting that full range of motion, shoulders rolled down and back, core is engaged. We're gonna squeeze down and squeeze. So that's the move we're gonna do. Grab your dumbbells, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. And squeeze. Don't be shy to go heavy either. I know sometimes as women, we're like, whoa, we're gonna be walking around, our arms aren't gonna be able to lay down flat because our muscles are gonna be like busting out the seams. But no, I promise that will not happen if you, the term that may be the most common that you hear is defined and toned. That is what you're going to accomplish with strength training. So there we are, we're done with that one. Next exercise is a bent over row. So it's going to look just like this. We're gonna be hinged at the hips, slight bend in your knee, core engaged, back flat. We're gonna squeeze and down. Hold it at the top for just a second. Working those back muscles. You wanna think about squeezing your shoulder blades around your spine, keeping your core engaged. Grab your dumbbells and let's begin. Squeeze, good. Control the weight, hold it for a second at the top and down. Exhale with that lift. Now, modification, if this is too intense, you're gonna alternate one arm and then the other. You can do that with each of the exercises. Alternating arms. Squeeze, good. Almost think about keeping your chest parallel here to the floor. And last one, awesome breathing. We have got tricep kickbacks next. I'm gonna go down and wait a little bit. This is a smaller muscle group. We're gonna be working right back here. We're gonna hinge over again at the hips just like we were right here. We're gonna bring the weights up right next to your chest and we're gonna kick them back just like this. Think about squeezing that tricep muscle. I know this can be a trouble area for some people, but this is gonna help tighten those muscles up. Here we go. Squeeze. Good. And squeeze. Exhale as you lift and control it back in. You don't want to just let the weight drop back down, but you do want to keep your elbows pinned in and keep them up high here. Good. Over halfway. Back is still flat. Neck is neutral. Here's three, two, and one, breathe it out, awesome. We are bringing it onto the ground now for chest press. So grab your dumbbells, bring it onto the mat. And I'm gonna give you a little peek of what this looks like. We're gonna be laying on our back. Feet are going to be flat. Palms are gonna be facing the wall here in front of you. Arms out, we are going to lift and lower. So this is the move, get ready. We go in three, two, and one, press it up right here. Good, bringing that weight right across the midline of your chest. You don't wanna let it come over your, over your neck or your head or down too low. Squeeze to help you make that mind-muscle connection. I'm gonna say something that might sound a little silly, but think about squeezing your armpit. So think, you have a ball, squeeze. That is gonna help you activate those chest muscles even more. Last one, press and lower. Oh, breathe it out. We have a minute to recover. That was amazing. You are rocking it out. We are going to do those same five exercises one more time through. We're gonna get through round two and that is going to be it for our upper body. So enjoy your rest, grab your water, 
grab your towel, dry off if you need to. Breathing, we're gonna bring it right back up when you're ready. And I wanna just ask you for a second, are you going heavy enough? Again, by the last two, three, four reps, those reps are very challenging. And by, what, and by challenging, what I mean is it's very hard to get that full range of motion. You might feel that shake happening. It is tough. So that's what you wanna look for to know if you're going heavy enough or maybe even too heavy. But grab your dumbbells, we've got shoulder press. <sighs> Getting into position, bring those arms up and let's begin. Good, you can take a wide stance here or a staggered stance, whatever you are more comfortable with. Just keep a slight bend in your knee, tucking your hips. Modification here to lower the intensity is going to be alternating arms, just like this. But if not, you've got both arms moving. We've got less than 10 seconds. We'll get that rest and we'll go right into bicep curls. And one, oh, control it down. Breathe, you're doing amazing. Bicep curls this time, just like this again. And what I want you to focus on here, make, it, make sure you have your elbows pinned in to your side. So you don't want your elbows to come up and away from your body because once that starts happening, you're gonna be working the shoulders and not necessarily the biceps as much. We are focusing all on biceps now. Here we go, let's begin. Keep that chest up, squeeze, good, and control it down. Hold at the top, get that squeeze at the bicep and control it down, good. Oh, you rock, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Whew. Breathe, over halfway. Make sure you're getting full range of motion, that's all the way up here, all the way down, almost there. And control it down, you made it. We're going back in to rows. Breathing anytime you need. Grab a drink, dry off, take longer recoveries if you need it. But for this, make sure when you hinge here at the hips, you've got your core engaged. Again, think about keeping that chest almost parallel to the floor, all the way down, squeeze for a second, and then release it back down. Grab your dumbbells, we go in five seconds. Here we go, let's row. And squeeze, good. If you need to remind yourself and say squeeze to hold it there for a second, make sure to do that. Again, we're working to get 100% out of this workout. So we really need to stay focused. Squeeze, good. Couple more reps, you've got it. Last one. Oh, amazing, tricep kickbacks. All right, get a little warm, get a little toasty in here. Those tricep kickbacks are next. This, again, focus on, think about, make that mind-muscle connection, thinking about the back of the arm as you extend. So the only thing that's moving here is that elbow joint. Only hinge we're getting. Grab your dumbbells, get into position, back flat, core engaged, let's begin and squeeze, good. Don't swing the weights to get them up. You are using your muscle, you are controlling it. Good. Almost there. One more exercise after this, before we work the abs. And last one. Oh, yes. Amazing job. Bring it on down for chest press. Again, this is gonna be it. And then we're gonna stay on the mat for abs after that. We've got 15 seconds before we go. Now remember that form. Keep your feet planted. Press those shoulder blades into the mat. Think about squeezing that armpit area. We go in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze. Exhale as you lift. Good. You're halfway. Keep it up, this is it for upper body. 
Oh, you are strong. You have got this. <sighs> Almost there. <sighs> and one, yes. Set your weights down, set them off to the side. Now, working abs next. We're gonna flip it on over. We have one minute to recover, but I'm gonna show you some of the exercises uh, before we go, just so you will be ready. We are gonna do an extend and tuck. So we're gonna be on all fours. We're gonna work one side and then the other. We're gonna have opposite arm to opposite leg coming in. It's gonna look just like this. We're gonna extend, we're gonna tuck. Squeeze, hold it, and out. Think about bringing that elbow right into your knee. Squeeze, contract the core, contract the abs as you pull in. We have 20 seconds, so that next exercise will be the opposite side. So then we'll bring opposite arm, squeeze. So we'll do 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. No dumbbells, no equipment for this round. All focused here on the ground. Breathing, we go in five seconds. And let's begin, 30 seconds. Think about making a straight line here, extending all the way, tucking, squeezing, and out. Good, squeeze. You've got your uh, shoulder, elbow, and wrist all in line here with this. Squeeze, good. And squeeze. One time through for abs, so make it count. Good, almost there. And one. Ooh, press it back if you need to. Breathing. We're gonna go in about 20 seconds to the other side. I need to dry off, oh my. Oh. We're probably less than 20 minutes and we are, we are burning it up right now. We've got 10 seconds, so that opposite side that you worked, we're gonna go for that again. Same exercise, opposite side. Really think about that tuck. Let's extend and tuck, here we go. Again, shoulder, elbow, wrist all in line, and squeeze. Extend straight, and tuck. Control it, we're not rushing through this move, I want you to feel it as you bring it in, feel those abs start to contract, tighten them up, and extend, good. Squeeze, breathe, good. Almost there. And one. Amazing. Breathe it out here. We are going into our next exercise, which is the RCLC crunch, I call it. We are gonna do right, center, left, center, right. So we're gonna alternate between sides. Let me just show you what that looks like. So use your hands here as support under your head. Don't crunch your neck with your hands, just gentle. We're gonna go right, center, left, Center, just like that. So join me now, here we go. Exhale as you lift. Think about getting your shoulder blades up off of the mat. 30 seconds, we work. Good, halfway. Take breaks if you need to and get right back into it. Keep those elbows out wide again, using those hands as support. Almost there, good, rest it out. Breathe, you can extend, hold it here for just a second. Next exercise we're gonna go into, heel tap. So we're gonna bring those legs up to a 90 degree angle here, head is down. You can keep your hands behind your head or right here next to your bum. <clears throat> we're gonna tap, tap the heels just like this. So bringing those heels down to the ground, alternating sides. Think about keeping your low back pressed into the floor. Let's begin. Tap it out. Good, and breathe. <clears throat> Good, press that low back into the, or yes, press your low back into the mat. Exhale as that leg taps the ground. Good, you can even put your hands on your abs. You can feel them working. Good, almost there. And one, yes. You can tuck it in, you can extend it out. The next exercise we are going into is heel taps again, but this time the legs are gonna be down. We're gonna be working the obliques. Think about keeping those shoulder blades up off of the mat. Bring your feet to right where you can just barely 
touch your heels. And then we're gonna reach side to side here. We go in five seconds, get those shoulder blades up. Three, two, one, here we go. Side to side, reach and reach. Good, feel that side crunch. Feel those obliques engage. Exhale as you crunch and tap. Good, halfway. This is it, by the way, you have made it. Good, breathe. Here's three, two, one. Oh my goodness, extend it. You are the bomb. That was our beginner upper body and abs workout and you smashed it like you rocked it. I am so proud of you. I am so excited that you have started this journey. I'm telling you what, if you are consistent, if you stick with these strength workouts, you are going to see amazing changes in your body. But consistency, making sure you're going heavy enough, challenging yourself is going to be key to seeing those changes. Of course, diet, nutrition, that's all, that's all there too, but sticking with it is going to be so important. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I am so excited that you are here for this beginner workout. We have got a beginner leg workout as well, so make sure you check that out. Get that on your workout schedule, and I will see you over there. Don't forget, if you were done with your workouts for today, grab a stretch. This is the dessert. This is the tasty bit. So important after your workout. I will see you over there. This is the leg workout, but I will see you at either one of those, and I love you.